Okay, so once we have our color wheel done, we are going to make it into a super cute little snail. So we're gonna begin, and I'm just gonna put him right next to it so that you can see how this is gonna work. So you can either just draw a circle on your own or if you can find something to trace, that would be great too. So I'm gonna start with a circle and it's okay if your circle's not perfect. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a big X right in the center of my circle, in the center of my wheel. And it's okay if your sections aren't equal. Now I'm gonna make a line going across, a horizontal line. And when I do that, I'm gonna make sure I stop right in the middle, right where the X connects, and then I'm going to keep going. So I'm gonna stop right in the middle to make sure I'm in the center, and then I'm going to keep going. So that would be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And you can see, boys and girls, that my pieces are not equal, and that is okay. So let's start with a super cute little snail. I'm gonna start with the eyes. I'm gonna give nice, big eyes, two big ovals, and then her iris that'll get colored in, some eyelashes. I'm gonna do the top of the head and then like a little wavy line to connect to the snail's body. And then a wavy line for her body and then a wavy line that'll extend all the way out for her tail. And then it's gonna connect back to her shell. So this is the color wheel shell. I'm gonna give her a big crooked smile and I'm going to give her polka dots. And I don't know if snails have polka dots, but I'm the artist and I can be creative and I can use my imagination. So in my imagination, my snail has polka dots. Maybe your snail has stripes or hearts or flowers or zigzag lines, okay? Now that we have the snail, we just don't want the snail floating around in space. We want to give it a background. So I am going to do a little grassy area. It's not going to go under the snail, but it's going to go behind the snail so that we overlap. So I'm just going to do some zigzag lines up and down. Okay. And I'm going to do some clouds and I want to make it look like they're coming off the edge of the paper and clouds come in all different shapes and sizes. Maybe I can make it look like there's one even behind his body. Okay. So once you finish drawing, make sure you color the entire paper. Use your imagination, use your colors. You can see how in the background here in the sky, I didn't give it a blue sky. I made it look like the sun was setting, so I gave it an orange sky. Can't wait to see what your snails look like.